All right, guys, we got some fun stuff on the agenda today. So we're going to start off today's workout with some L-sits. And an L-sit is kind of a classic CrossFit body weight strength development exercise in a really tough isometric hold. And then we've got a fun conditioning piece for you guys after that. Okay, so let's talk about the L-sit. We're going to go through five sets of a 30-second L-sit, and we want you to rest as needed in between these. The scale for an L-sit as it's prescribed is this. So it's literally the shape of an L. So we're going to be pushing into an object and fighting. Go ahead and relax for a sec, Chrissy. You will find that holding that for 30 seconds is ridiculously challenging. If that's a little too hard, what we want you to do is just go into a ball shape. This will be a lot easier, um, but we're still getting that upper body strength development through the lats and the torso. Go ahead and relax, Chrissy, again. If all of those are too hard for you, what we can do is we can just do a hollow hold or a hollow rock for 30 seconds. Okay, so if we're doing a hollow hold, squeeze the quads, point the toes, and then we're lifting the shoulders off of the ground and we're holding. If you want to rock back and forth, you can do that as well. Just make sure that you're balanced on your low back muscles, the curvature that's there. That'll indicate that you're using the abdominals to hold yourself up. All of these options you will find are agonizing. And if you're doing that L-sit, you're probably going to need to rest at least a minute and a half to two minutes in between those efforts um, so that that way you're fully charged up to do your next set. But again, we want five sets, rest as needed in between. And then for conditioning, it's going to be you know, really glycolytic. So we're going to go for four minutes times four rounds of eight push-ups plus plank taps, 12 alternating lateral lunge steps, 20 squats, and then max sit-ups in that interval with the remaining time in that interval. You're going to rest one minute in between each one of these rounds. So we're going four rounds, rest a minute in between them. Okay, our push-up plus plank, plank tap. Okay, it looks like this. Push up, touch right, touch left. That's one. This would be two. If you got to do those out of the knees, that's fine as well. On our 12 alternating lateral lunge steps, so we're going to step out laterally, stretch through the medial chain, and then we're going to stand through and tall, and then we're going to go the opposite direction. As we do this, the working leg, which is the squatting leg, push that knee out while you drive the trailing knee back. Okay, that's what we want on those alternating lunges. And then you can just let that trailing leg's toe just come up to the sky naturally. All right, try to keep the chest up as much as you can. And then your squats. Okay, so these are just traditional squats. Feet stay flat on the ground, hips go back, knees out, belly's tight, looking straight ahead. We want you to get those hips below your knee joint. And then your sit-ups, you'll probably have just a few seconds to do the reps here, um, but we want the feet to be flat on the ground and then throw those hands forward until the elbows clear the knee. You'll just do sit-ups until the top of that four minute interval, then you'll take your rest period. All right guys, happy Cinco de Mayo to you. Also, on the Beats RX mobile app, there's a really cool playlist called Beats O de Mayo, which is an, an, an inspired mix for Cinco de Mayo. So we hope that you guys can tune into that and enjoy that music for this workout. Have fun.